word. Hey everyone, welcome to the B-Side World. We are a group of friends from around the world discussing interesting articles. My name is Alex and I'm here with Dev. Hello. Emma. Hey. And CJ. Hello. And we don't have any Maxi this week. No Maxi. Maxi Taxi may be back next week. But Alexander's back. We do have, and you've probably guessed, AJ, a.k.a. Alexander, a.k.a. Alex, a.k.a. Zanz. Welcome back. That's all the a.k.a.s. <laughs> Did I miss any? <laughs> no, I don't think Flex, so. a.k.a. Flex. Ooh. A.k.a. Flex. Ooh. <laughs> Glad to be back. Yeah. Right. We'll get into this. The right. first article this week will blow your mind. I say that every week about one article. Every week. Like, and we still honestly. come back every week with our minds intact. No, no, no. <laughs> don't don't lie now. Okay. I've blown your minds. I have. This one will be no different. In fact, I think it was your article. Anyway. Anyways. Did you pick a mind-blowing article? Always. <laughs> All my articles are mind-blowing. They're usually mind-numbing. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Brutal. Um, it started. <laughs> it started. <laughs> it started. Okay, so prepare. All right, I've got my cap on. For so it destination doesn't... space hotel. Space hotel. Literally. <laughs> so <laughs> literally. Right. Space, right. <laughs> right. Alexander's mind is blown. <coughs> so they are looking to launch the world's first, and possibly universe first. Space Hotel with artificial gravity. Is, is, it, a, is it a Trump Hotel? 2025. Why does it that make a difference? Trump, 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 Trump Towers. Tra- is it Trump Towers? Why? The Trump he, Towers on uh, Barack Obama. He's, he's narcissistic, Street. so <laughs> I guess he'd want his, his name up there first. What would he, no. call, what would he call that hotel? He'd just in? literally call it Trump. Space Trump. Yeah. I trumped you out of space. Trump, I trumped Trump you in space. That sounds horrible. <laughs> like he's been talking about Alabama for the last two weeks, so I guess. What's he been saying? What's oh, he? But the hurricane? No. He, uh, he missed oh, do you not know about that? He, no. Last yeah. I heard about that was That's he was on a golf course <laughs> instead of like being prepared for this, you know, the big hurricane. What has he said? He said um, the hurricane was going to hit Alabama. And then the river people said, no, it isn't. And he spent the last few days trying to prove the river people wrong. What? Instead <laughs> of actually worrying about the people that are being hit by the hurricane, he's more worried about him being incorrect. Oh, so like there's uh, but, uh, the original trajectory, like a while back, had Alabama in it, and then he tweeted saying Alabama included, and that was like long after they were like, no, no chance. <laughs> so then there's <laughs> there's a picture <coughs> with the official like map showing the trajectory map, which is normal, yeah. and then they use the same one a few days later, and he's clearly just sharpied in yeah. to include <laughs> he's Alabama. Put a sharpie it. around it. <laughs> <laughs> like it's the most blatantly obvious. No, like but hang on, is the, he, but is there's he no doing black it? on the map, and then there's just this sharpie line. <laughs> yeah, like, like, like it's white, <laughs> then there's black line. No, but wait, was he doing it as a joke? <laughs> no, no, he was being legit. No, no, no. See, no. look at the map, the projection that I had. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to respond. I don't think America know how to respond. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's actually illegal to do that. So <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not anymore. That's crazy. Yeah, not even. Oh my gosh. Well, guys. Yes. No, this space isn't hotel. done by Trump. Um, so it's going to be a luxury space hotel. Okay. Mm. First of its kind. Um, of it will have the first of its kind. All <laughs> the amenities that you would find in a nu- you know another luxury hotel. Good um, question. Yes. Where's the plumbing going? No pool. Don't know about the plumbing. Out into space. Wow. So so we've polluted our Earth, and now we're going to pollute. S- <laughs> the universe. Mm. When you say the amenities, <laughs> like, do you like go on holiday to stay inside the hotel? There, this Emma oh. does. Emma likes a uh, holiday in a hotel. Well, you say that, but we've never actually been on holiday, really. No, but that's your perfect holiday, isn't it? I yeah. would. Okay, so I would love to go to a hotel and have like everything there, but I also do want to venture out. I don't just want to stick in the resort. So that was wrong. Okay. I, so I, is this? Yeah. Go on. No, I do want to like lounge around the pool and get brought a co- uh, like a cocktail or whatever, but I do want to see stuff. I want to sightsee. Okay. But no bushwalking for me. 
Oh, or that hiking. brings up an interesting question then, yeah, Alexander. Like, are you just going to be in the hotel the whole time? No, I'll get to that bit. Oh. So That's this cool. hotel will have operational kitchens, <laughs> restaurants, Okay. And cinema. <laughs> I, I, I assume they were going to have that because people will need to eat. <laughs> it will have so cinemas. Far, so far, I can just have that at a on, budget on, motel. Well, at, on planet. Oh Earth. no, you can't have cinema. <laughs> yes, we can. Not in a budget motel that would have a cinema. Anyway, it can, no, can, can accommodate <laughs> up to four hundred people, and there will be a luxury cruise, which will take you into the co- cosmo cosmos for two days. Where are you in the hotel? In space. And the cosmos is... They're already in it, but they're going to go cruising around it. What are you doing? Look, I'm trying to understand. You're in the hotel. Yes. In the cosmos already. Yes. Then then you're going into a ship. Yes. Into the cosmos. To be in the cosmos. Yes. So no matter what you're doing... I can't. It's kind of like getting on a cruise and then taking a boat to go around the ocean. Yeah. Which people (laughs) do. Yeah. Like, I understand. When you're you're like getting off a cruise ship. Yeah. Getting on a boat. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, like I understand when I you get know. a cruise and then you get on a boat to go to an island. Are Guys, you going to a near planet? It's not my plan. Or a Quick comet? Question. Or a um, the something <laughs> with oxygen. Where are they getting that from? Okay, I don't know about the oxygen, but this is how it's going to work. Okay, okay we're okay, just ready? putting a, a real dull. This is. Pretty, I mean, I thought this is pretty cool. It is spectacular, right? There's going to be a hotel in space. Well, yeah. but, but no one's it's going because no one could afford the trip. Still bizarre. <laughs> so the way they're going to do it is it's going to be designed around two ring structures. Yes. Okay, so the out the, it allows the outer ring to rotate around the inner ring. Yeah. And that creates artificial gravity, and that's similar to what you would experience on the moon. So that's my dance move, by the way, of artificial gravity. It's what, what? <laughs> that's my dance move. <laughs> dance move. <laughs> artificial gravity. <laughs> people, people don't know what you're talking about. What? <laughs> and then the technology is also similar to that on the International Space Station. But on the Von Braun, which I think this is what it's going to be called, um, the artificial gravity allows you to walk around like fully normally, like as you would on Earth, basically. Huh. Okay, another question. Question. <laughs> now. Yes. They, they can walk around normally like they're on Earth, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why would they go into space? It's, look, I, I, think I, I understand. The view, the view we we, we like all a, jumped on this um, negative train, no, right? No, no, but no. <laughs> I'm just thinking, right? I, if I'm going to float around and all that, like, that sounds pretty cool, interesting. Like, you know, zero oh, gravity. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But then there's things that pop in my head that like, where does where's the water coming from? It'd be like... Um, like, are we drinking our own urine again? No, 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 no. they'll deliver it to, a, to you. It'll be on there. Like a uh, tap, I mean bottled water. Yeah, something. Yeah, and like I guess that. every every time people like fly up to go, that's also an opportunity to take yeah, resources. To at the resources. Same time. Okay. And, and then your the view from your room would be the Earth. That that'd be cool. But yeah. I would like to float around. Like be like, ooh. Maybe you get to do that. <laughs> Maybe there's a room like a, a room, an anti gravity room. Like like I'll, I'll be in the cinema and be floating near the screen, and I can float back. <laughs> Everyone would be sh- disco. chucking be... popcorn at you. Oh, yeah, that would be cool. That would be all right. <laughs> like, like they're making it like a normal hotel. Like, I, I, yeah. can, I can go to Brisbane hey. and go walk around a hotel yeah. there. Okay, I got that. I've got that thought in your head, right? But you're going into space. It'd be pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Okay, if I'm taking a huge risk of my life, I, 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 I want to float around. I reckon there will be a chance to float around for sure. They wouldn't. See, and <laughs> I was thinking, be. like, the. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You're all right. Um, I was just thinking about like the... This is 2025, it says, right? Yes. Yeah. We just celebrated, what, 50-year anniversary of landing on the moon for the first time this year. Yeah. Yeah. And we haven't done it in, what, 46 years or something like that since? Mm-hmm. But in the next six years or five years, we're going to get a hotel in space. I know. It's bizarre. <laughs> but that brings up all the conspiracies about what's actually on the moon. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Because <laughs> actually, uh, that's a, the water thing. I just remembered that because they talk about there's water on the moon, isn't there? The South Pole, they're trying to mine it. Oh, yeah. It's like frozen water. Yeah. I did. Is that the dark side? That. Is that sure. the dark side of the moon? I don't know. Maybe. I think it's like I'll show you the dark side South of the moon. Pole or whatever, you, like yeah. at the bottom of the moon, there's what? frozen ice, frozen water. So maybe they could mine it from there for the, I don't know. Mm. Mm, Martian water. How wouldn't this be just water? Martian? Water. Is, is Martian <laughs> mean from Mars? No, it means from 
Yeah. Martian, yeah. It does, doesn't it? Martian means it I does. thought Martian just means like, it's not from here. I think it's from Mars. It's you're a Mars, you're from, if you're a Martian, you're from Mars. So but this hotel, it will have 24 modules on the outer ring. And that is the accommodation. Yeah. Some rooms are going to be permanent and then like permanent residences and then others are going to be rented out to space agencies. Um, and then others are going to be available for your space tourists, right, to spend a couple of days. Oh, maybe there isn't a cruise. Maybe that is the couple of days traversing in the cosmos, right? <laughs> um, but basically <laughs> it's going to expect about 100 guests a week and at first it's going to be hella expensive. Yep. But then they reckon that it will just be become as affordable as going to Disneyland. One minute warning. Disneyland? <laughs> How old are they? Kids, do you want to go to Disneyland next year or do you want to go to outer space? Not outer space, but you know what I mean. Hmm. I would I feel want like to I want all the people that can afford it initially, do you reckon they're going to want to? Yes, of course they are. They're going to want to be in the first lot. You know what's good about that? If it stuffs up, all of us poor people are safe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I really would want to go, but I would be absolutely terrified. I, I, I figured after the rich people, like, you know, suss it out <laughs> for us. <laughs> we'll send up the test dummies. Them. <laughs> us smart oh, people yeah. with no money, we'll get up there eventually. Would you want to go there at all? Yeah. Is that, are you? Oh, <laughs> I'm just I'm just interested because you were bagging it out. No, no, I would want to go up there, but I would want the experience in the fact that like you're floating around. You I reckon in, you in would. Zero gravity. Yeah. Like and things like that. Like if I, I don't want to be walking around normally. Yeah, I can yeah, walk yeah. around normally here. Yeah, yeah. What's yeah. the point of going up there? You and want walking something around normally? new. Yeah, there's experience. probably going to be like an but outdoor, indoor area. Yeah, the view. The view's pretty cool the, as well. Yeah, but the, like yeah, yeah, you can't get the view here. I want to experience <laughs> being in space. You, uh, you, you look out of the window and see. No, but like floating around like an astronaut and all that. Like not walking around like a normal. Honestly, person. if they're building yeah. this, they're gonna have an outdoor courtyard where which outdoor has got like courtyard. yeah, which outdoor has got like a mesh mesh so you don't float away. Is, yeah. it, a, is it a smoking area? <laughs> and then like everyone's just floating around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, people just uh, it's, it's called the suicide room. <laughs> <laughs> you you said about astronauts like that. That's something I was thinking about. Like. How much training do astronauts go through before they that's ever right. go into space? Yeah, that's right. And we're just supposed to just get in a ship and go up there? Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there'll be a lot of puking. <laughs> this is... Yeah, but they're controlling all the whatnots, you know. Tourists what? are just... Like, they're yeah. controlling all the buttons on the rocket. Yeah, but still... <laughs> yeah, but their training isn't just pressing buttons, is, is it? They the go G-force. through the, the, the G-force thingy. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. I get what you mean. Like, <laughs> uh, you mean. there'll be a stage where a big rocket will go... <laughs> And your face was like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> can you describe what you just did? <laughs> my hands in my face and I pulled it back. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, um, have you seen, have you seen the anti-gravity? You can do like zero gravity now in a plane. Yeah. The way they yeah. do it. They got to go up and down. When, what do you mean? Yeah. yeah. So the plane, drop. The, yeah, the planes go up in the air and then they drop really fast and they Why? go back up and it, cause it creates, a, it creates like a zero gravity effect when, when you're plummeting. You so you float. But who's doing this? People. Like commercial pl- <laughs> What what? Wait, I'm so confused. <laughs> what no, it's which like plane a, does it's like this? No, not Qantas isn't doing this. Oh, okay. No. Who's no. doing this? <laughs> no. People <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm so, uh, just like, casually on the way to America, just just, just dropping, <laughs> just dropping, and then going back up and dropping again. Well, who's doing it then? <laughs> New Zealand Airways. <laughs> <laughs> well, they are known for like their extreme sports and whatnot. So Who? New Zealand. Sport. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about <laughs> bungee jumping, <laughs> zorbing. Oh, Oh, I don't know. You guys confuse me. <laughs> it's it, it's a purposely done like you go on the flight to do that. Yeah. What? So I'm they'll do it. I I I've only, I've seen someone. So Casey Neistat, he did it, and I yeah. watched him do it. But I think that they do it with like um like through NASA and stuff like that. Yeah. Like it's not just a f- random yeah. airline doing it. So what? They just flying, flying, and then drop, and yeah. then you float. Yeah. Because of the speed that it's dropping versus the speed that you can fall, it's a zero gravity effect. So it's like, imagine oh, the plane that internal is stripped out. For? So there's no seats and stuff like that. It's not like you're sitting in your chair and the water's you you floating head. out. 
No, because you're floating with no gravity. Zero gravity. It's like being in a spaceship. <coughs> but my friend just came back off a flight and the flight dropped because <laughs> of turbulence and they all hit their heads and 38 people were severely injured. The bloody New Zealand Airways. <laughs> <laughs> Was it New Zealand do? Hawaiian. I oh, think. Hawaiian. <laughs> even I, worse. Don't, I don't know if it was Hawaiian, <laughs> sorry, but it was going over Hawaii. It was American. Or it left Hawaii. It was American Airways, the pilot was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> but they all hit their head, so was why it? didn't why didn't Casey hit his head? Because Casey was short. Okay, so this next article. Yes. I just thought it was pretty funny, actually, to be honest. Um, this guy was on a roller coaster, okay, and he spots a guy a couple rows ahead or a few rows ahead, drop his phone on yeah. a roller coaster, yeah, and this guy catches it midair as it's falling, yeah, no lie, so there's a natural video, and you see it. He's like this sportsman. Don't know if that helps. What this New Zealand sportsman. That'll help. And he's a fistball player, whatever that is. A what? A Fist fistball player. Fist a fistball? <laughs> yeah. Fistball? Yeah. No. Yeah. What's that? Uh, What's look, a fistball? I'm, I'm looking it up. <laughs> yeah, look up. What the hell let, is Let a us know what that is. Uh, but is it uh, actually, baby, don't look it up. He was in, he, we're gonna see. he was in the <laughs> fistball world champions. <laughs> fistball world champions. <laughs> Wouldn't it yeah. be handball? No, fistball. Fistball. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And I, I've just seen someone put someone in the ground right now. On, uh, it, it, it says it's like volleyball. Yeah, that's as far as I've got. Uh, it's you try players try to hit a ball over the net at the current men's fistball world champion is Germany. So what? Really instead explain of, how the game works. So instead of volleyball, which otherwise you could, I guess could be known as wrist ball, it's like <laughs> 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 it's just you hit it with because <laughs> you know in volleyball how you have to hit it there. And you get like red oh. sore wrists. Maybe it's just you have to hit it. With. <laughs> Emma's punching the air and she's laughing. <laughs> CJ's just looking at her <laughs> with a blank face. Oh, okay, guys. so this guy it's, is into yeah. fist ball. Sorry. Yeah, and he caught the he caught the phone. Yes, mid ride. Yes. Wow. Literally. Have you so seen the video? It's pretty impressive. Yes, I have. I've seen the video. Um, so at the beginning of, so basically he's like going up the hill, going up the hill. He spots the guy, drop his phone and goes, ah, oh, I'll catch that later on or whatever like that. And what, then. What, 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 what? Later what on? Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> okay, okay. This story. I feel like it's a story that started off like, oh yeah, it came out of, like it <laughs> fell out of my pocket and I grabbed it. All right. And then he's telling his mates later on and he goes, oh, you should have uh, seen it. I flew my uh, my uh, my phone out, and I knew when we were going to come back around, I was going to catch it again. Basically, I don't know what <laughs> that's what it sounds like. It's... So right, he went hold, on. Hold, hold on, <laughs> did the guy who caught the phone is that the guy that dropped it? No, 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 no. no. no, no then no. why would he be thinking we're well, going to catch the phone? No, no, mm -hmm. no. Right, so right, the New Zealand sports fistballer, right? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so wrong. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> was was on this roller coaster, hundred thirty four, the hundred thirty three kilometers an hour one, right? Yeah, yeah, as fast as I drive to get here. He <laughs> said the other rider had dropped his phone at the beginning of the ride, and he joked that he would try to catch it. Okay. <laughs> then wait, wait, the wait. Rides... he's having a conversation with someone during a roller coaster. <laughs> this is as it's like about to start. Okay. Well, I think, and then the ride started and then he totally forgot about the, the phone thing. Cause he was just like on the ride. <laughs> and then after the first drop and then he rose up and he saw the phone just drifting. <laughs> zero gravity. The phone just <laughs> zero gravity. <laughs> That's what's happened. Was, was this phone in the space hotel? <laughs> <laughs> he reaches out, he catches it, and it's all on video, guys. This is How no lie, mate, mate. Okay, I'm not. Gonna, so okay, there are so me, many elements to this. I have okay. so many questions. I am not a scientist. Let me explain the video for you. Okay. <laughs> so you can at least understand how that works. Yeah. I don't know about this story. So yeah. <laughs> in so the video, you see, you see the guy in the roller coaster. Like, yeah. He's starting to go up, and then you see him like throw his hands in the air, excited, like you would normally on a roller coaster. Yeah, and then you see his the realization on his face, and he reaches across his friend <laughs> and catches like, this oh, phone. There's a phone. Oh, oh, 
Okay, so his hands totally like he's like no, it's hey, not hands in the air, and then like sees it, reaches across and grabs this phone. I don't know about this whole phone being lost at the beginning of the ride <laughs> and him deciding midway through I'm going to catch that thing. I don't know where that come from. So I'm, I'm, I'm assuming the phone would drop, yeah, because of something called gravity, which we have on Earth, <laughs> and then the, the phone would hit the floor and, and go. Poof. Yes, <laughs> I don't know, guys. I just don't know. But this fistball guy has managed to. <laughs> Distort gravity. Are you sure? <laughs> Did he do a couple of turns in between <laughs> catching that fo- bloody phone? Well, he, that's what he said. He told the um the the journalist that he that yeah how I'm a he'd, non-believer. How he'd seen the the guy drop his phone at the beginning, and then he joked that he's going to try and catch. It. <laughs> <laughs> and then the ride started, and then he forgot about it. And he's like, "Oh, there it is. I'll catch that now." So it. In Emma's defense, it actually says that in the article. It is. Oh, yeah. how it says it. I was reading it with her, and I'm like, huh? <laughs> okay, All this right. article doesn't make sense. <laughs> well, we're going to watch a video. At the end, we'll watch a video, right? Yeah, we will. But I have a question. Yeah. yeah. When have you... Has this happened to you? Like, unexpectedly... What? Dropped my phone in a roller coaster. Not and your then phone. Had a, had a fist ball, I catch it. <laughs> not your phone, but like, <laughs> let's say like... I, I can um, honestly say no. Like your phone's on the edge of the table, right? You're like you're oh, concentrating, yeah, and then it starts vibrating, and then it falls off the fo- uh, off the table, and then all of a sudden you just reflex it, you're just like bang. But real cool, smooth, yeah, just like, cool. You just ooh. catch it and you put it back on. You go, yeah, I meant that. <laughs> yep, yes, that has happened. That, has, ha- <laughs> 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 that stop, has happened stop to me. Stop agreeing so much with my my story. That's my story. What do you want me to say? Make up uh, your own no. story. <laughs> No, but that happened. Okay, her story is she was on a roller coaster. She threw her phone up in the air, <laughs> and there was a guy a few stores back who was a fist baller. <laughs> look, look, look at the video. Ready? Oh, go back, go back. Oh, he's already got it. Yeah, go the back. video's on. The video's on. Oh, he actually. <laughs> I'm not joking. And he he's fought... celebrating like when he caught the phone, he's celebrating then... like a cricketer. Yeah. <laughs> and then he shakes the guys behind him hand while he's got look. And he shakes the guys behind him. <laughs> <laughs> Dev, you, so, you um, just made me think, uh, celebrate like a cricket. Imagine if he celebrated properly like a and cricket. He threw and he threw it like, up threw in it the air. <laughs> oh, <laughs> could you imagine? Um, so has this happened to you? Have yes. you like, <laughs> okay. No, you've, you've, we, we all know I've you're spoken. in agreement, right? Ooh. Just be quiet now. I'm talking to the other two people in the room. In the room. <laughs> Alexander's impression in my impression. Has that happened to you, Siege? Have you uh, like caught something like that was? Have you seen those like people have a baby and then like they? Have you seen them ones? And yes. the baby's like rolling off the couch, and all of a sudden the dad just grabs it one handed and oh. then ca- and he's like, "Oh yeah, I meant that. Yep, yep. I was always. Have yeah. you seen them ones? Yeah, everyone's done that." <laughs> Tell me the story, see? <laughs> Tell me the story where you little caught ca- a baby. A little cousins like rolling on yeah. bed and then they've crawled and you go, oh shit. Ever looking like, are you right? You're, like, you're going by the shirt. Like, I thought, yeah. uh, I thought there was some confession were. there of uh, CJ and your kids. <laughs> yeah, I got a feeling. Siege. <laughs> uh, at least I caught him. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm not allowed to speak, so I'll keep, I'll just keep quiet. <laughs> no, you you may speak now. Yeah, it's happened to me. Uh, it has hundred percent. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. You gonna tell us, or are you just gonna <laughs> no, tell us the that exact it... same situation? What you just said. No, tell us a different one because it'll be boring uh, if you say the same situation. M- my son threw the ball, a really cool curve ball. What? <laughs> And and I just did the whole midair catch thing, like left handed. <laughs> it's funny. The story started off right handed, then she switched hands, and then it was a curveball. Now, which son was it? And a kamikaze roll to end. <laughs> Do you understand what kamikaze means? No, I don't. Brilliant. <laughs> Okay, um, CJ, this is your article, actually. Yes, oh. it is. Do you remember? Yes. A, wo- a lady in Perth took her neighbours to court. Tell Why? me more. Because they were having a barbecue. 
What kind of barbecue? I'm not sure. I wasn't invited. <laughs> <laughs> Article over. <laughs> uh, I, I, assu- I assume it must have smelled nice because she didn't like the smell mm. of the meat. Oh. And she was a vegan. Oh. So she's taken them to court because they have a barbecue on, on the weekends. In their own property? In their own property. Okay. And it was thrown out. This kind of brings it up to the last topic of people get af- offended just for the sake of getting offended. Don't bring that up because I'm not. I might not put that article. In. Okay. Yeah. Let's go back. <laughs> 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 okay. Oh, crap. I lost my train of thought. So basically, <laughs> this lady from Perth, yeah. yeah. Um, it wasn't just the barbecue. I think like she she also in the the court thing um, put that she didn't like the the sound of the kids playing basketball. And <laughs> <laughs> hush, hush now. <laughs> like she sounds just like any a noise, laugh like a riot. <laughs> any noise, basically. She doesn't she... like life. No. no. So, um, yeah. So the what happened is the Supreme Court have actually overthrown it. Like they just said, no. Nah. It went all the way to the Supreme, Supreme Court. Court. Yeah, Supreme Court judge and the state administrative tribunal dismissed her case, um, and her subsequent appeals. Um, but what's happened now is that, oh, of course, the people and the internet have risen and they're going to throw a massive community barbecue on her street outside her house. Oh. Like, so all the driveways, they're going to have like um, food trucks. They've organized for like, but they want to organize basketball games for all the kids, all oh, abilities wow. in the street, hoping to get the council to cordon off the roads okay. and stuff. And there's at the moment, 4,600 people are attending. Oh, wow. Oh, there'll be a few sausages on the barbie that day. <laughs> oh, wow. But that's just to another level. It Okay. She the kind of she put that on herself. To be yes, honest. but I think they should be a bit bigger and just let it go. What? Get the hell out of here! Talk of coming from you. Yeah. <laughs> coming from you. No freaking way, <laughs> CJ. <laughs> I, like I expect it. you to there be the first no one to show us the barbecue uh, scene. Uh, I, I, I know I'm the kind of person <laughs> that takes things a little bit too far sometimes. A li- <laughs> sometimes. But this is a situation where it's your neighbour. You You're can... the, coming from the guy that shoots and asks questions later. Yeah, but like I'm trying to be, be grow up as a person. <laughs> <laughs> and evolve. <laughs> yeah, tell me more. And um, The new CJ. And I'm thinking like... I would personally like have a barbecue every day, like near her fence. But like, in all honesty, what's the point? Just to upset your neighbor. It it is, it is to upset. Like, you've how got many, to think. What, like, what? Going through court, like that's yeah, that's a lot of effort that she's put you that's through. That's a lot of effort. Like, how 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 many courts between, like ah, uh, there's a few between the Supreme Court. Like, where do you start at? But local, local I court. don't know. And then what? Like Maybe state. Court. Now what, you what? go local court, then you go. Um, I don't know. No, no, no. I like that. There's <laughs> got to be a few levels. Like we know. <laughs> 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 don't know. <laughs> I'm asking the wrong people here. Yeah, Never been. Family court is um for like families. Families. Yep. Criminal court is for criminal. It's not a criminal act having a barbecue. Civil. It'd be civil court. It could be oh, okay. It's civil. The, yeah. Okay. The only thing that I'll say in her defense and by this I, in no way am I rationalizing what she's done oh, oh look at this what's wrong with you I'm coming to your street to put a barbecue on the um the smell thing I'm not saying this is something you should try and sue someone for but I mm-hmm. get because I've been told this I didn't experience this but I've been told this by people who have been vegan for a long time is when you don't cook meat the smell of meat being cooked it's it starts to smell like human flesh like oh. to you, that's what it smells like. So I can okay. I can get why she doesn't like it, but yeah. to take them to court over it and stuff like that, like that, that's just extra. From from mm-hmm. another one of the articles I read about this topic, yeah, the family actually moved their barbecue to the other side of the backyard to try to like, cause she actually complained to them about the meat smell. Yeah. So in trying to make sure she doesn't get it oh, anymore, so they so they're trying to actually be nice about it and yeah. move it to the other side of the backyard. Yeah. And then she just kept complaining about it. And yeah. then she kind of complaining about the kids playing basketball. And yeah. It's like you guys having a barbecue here and your neighbor's complaining because yeah. the kids are making noise. Yeah. I, yeah. I respect them for doing that. The I don't think they know how smell works, but I respect them for doing it. <laughs> 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 that, that, um, that brings me up. She'd never go to question. Bunnings, would she? Um, oh man, I love Bunnings on a Saturday. So, you know, Indian food, Asian food, Jamaican food, mm-hmm. like all the exotic 
Yes. I know what you're going to ask. The smells? Should you be allowed to to warm it up in the microwave at work the next day? That's what I was going to ask. But oh, yeah, yeah, let's go with that one. <laughs> let's go. No. With that. I say yes because all secondhand food, not secondhand food. I know all exactly what you're going to ask. <laughs> no. Wrong. <laughs> That All really leftovers specific, smell like, delicious. No, it should I not be warmed up in the microwave the next day. How about fish? No. Oh, fish, fish. in the office is a no. It <laughs> okay. <laughs> there, there, there's, there's what about tuna? There are certain like office protocols, right? Yeah. Especially with the microwave. Wait, wait. Is it on? Is it written down or is it just <laughs> unwritten rules? It's an unwritten rule. All right. I'm bringing fish. You don't bring in yeah. a, a communal microwave at work. Yeah. Something that is going to... Stink. Stink. Yeah. But who's who's to determine but what that's does just, and doesn't Yeah, stink? that's just like the comedy. public. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, hang on a sec. Okay. That's like your comedy uh, if, meter. If you put fish in the microwave. You're not the smelly meter. Don't and, ignore me, mate. You're and, not the smelly meter. And, and then you're eating lunch by yourself. <laughs> We've had the fun a meter. Yeah. The smell a meter. You're not the smell a meter. <laughs> okay. If you can smell it yourself, <laughs> yeah. and you're like, this is bad. How about if I go, just to be like a penis, just like, mm, Yeah, but that's yeah. like me with um, fish sauce. If I get a whiff, I'm like, Ugh, but Well, that's I'll right. Eat it. Like, okay. Right, tell me the story, mate. What is what is the worst thing that's gone into the communal? No, no, I, I've done it myself. I oh. put, I've put fish in the communal microwave myself. <laughs> and I've pulled it out and go, oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I've done Indian in, the, like, in the microwave. God, I'm a dick. <laughs> I've done that as well, Siege. <laughs> <laughs> All right? Yeah. And I've had everyone look at me like, really? Yeah. And I'm like, my bad, my bad, I apologize. I forgot. <laughs> There's still some tomorrow, so beware. <laughs> everyone is going, I, kind of, I, 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 can't, I can't bring fish to work. Uh, so you've learned from personal I, experience. I've learned from personal But okay. there's people who will do the exact same thing, Yeah. smell it, and be like, ooh. And they'll do it the next day. <laughs> <laughs> so if that wasn't the question that I thought you were going to ask, what was it? No, that, that's good enough. Oh, that's okay. Good enough. So last people out there, it's a communal microwave, guys. Yeah. Let's think about others. Talking about communal, bastards. do you think <laughs> the lady should live in a, com- like a vegan community? Because there are some vegan communities, right? And they live off the grid and stuff like that. Um... What? And, and then she can live like in peace. If what in a she, I don't, if you're vegan, you shouldn't have to go live in a vegan community. But if yeah, you uh, complain about being in a normal a community. community, in a community because of non vegans, then, then yeah, you should. Yeah, that's you what You should I mean. think about where you live. The average one doesn't have to go live in one, but I'm saying this lady. Okay. <laughs> should be Every happier. Well, it sounds things. In your own home, in your own land, you have the right to cook what you like. Mm-hmm. If I have a neighbor that cooks a certain kind Except of... Except humans. A, a, a kind of food that I don't... Good point. Like? Like. I'll close my windows and eventually the smoke will go away. Mm. Correct? I'm not going to sit in my backyard going, Ooh, I hate that smell. How about <laughs> if you're in uh, a unit? Again, it's someone's property. If they want to cook something that I'm not a fan of... Yeah. They're doing it. In, they're not like knocking on my door. Can I use your kitchen? <laughs> but how about it fills your room? Like if it fills. How's yeah, it you gonna... can't be like, can you not cook that anymore? That's yeah. right. That's what I'm saying. Because like, if I cook something they that's don't my, like. That's my whole point. You can't I'm, do that. Yeah. <clears throat> if I cook something they don't like. Yeah. Like I don't expect them to knock on the door and say, CJ, can you please stop cooking your parmesan cheese pasta or whatever? Like, oh, I get it. Air, air yeah, air I get that. Know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like um, where we grew up, Emma. Like imagine mm-hmm. people went up to Fassenders. So where we lived, where we grew up, there was a chicken factory near yeah. us where they would slaughter chickens. Yeah. And there was also a sewage plant behind that. I don't know if you knew that, Emma. There's I a sewage know plant. about the sewage plant, but we've talked yeah. about the chicken so, one before. Yeah. So it, basically what it meant for us was you get a bad smell. Now we lived there, we got used to it. But when people would visit, like Dev, Dev knows, you could smell it. Did you come over? To your house? I mean, did you smell it when you were over? <laughs> Yeah, like when the, when we went into the backyard, your dad, your dad and mum was like, "Oh, it's lovely!" Like it come out, and I was like, "Oh, it's lovely!" What the? Oh, it's lovely! What the? And I'm like, oh, like no oh, one else is complaining. Way. No one else is complaining, and I'm like, uh, <laughs> be honest. Did you shut up and say nothing? I didn't say anything. I didn't I say would have not said anything to you, mate. But when me and Emma went back upstairs, I right? said to her, "Babe, that what stinks." Were we, were we doing like <laughs> dancing to September? No. Oh, maybe, maybe. But like when we went upstairs, I went, "Emma, there's a smell," and she goes, "Oh yeah, it's um the chicken place." And she kept doing what it was like, uh, 
<laughs> okay. Okay. Like, like nothing happened. Nothing happened. I think it was your birthday. Oh, yeah. It was possibly, your birthday, yeah. Possibly. Yeah. But it'd be like us yeah. then going to the sender and going, hey guys, like, you're going to have to cut that smell out. Like, yeah. I don't, know, <laughs> I don't know what you're going to do, right? I don't know, but close your windows. I don't know. Do <laughs> like, I felt like chicken tonight, but I don't anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Next article is Alexander's. Yeah, so I've got one. It's, it's about an app that's like a kitty Weight Watchers. So Weight Watchers, basically, they they bought this app that was already made by, I think it was some university, mm-hmm. um, some like lab research, they made it. And they repurposed it for kitty Weight Watchers. Mm-hmm. So on there, what it does is it has like um, foods on there and they're categorized by... Green, yellow, and red. Green being the things that you should be eating a lot. Yellow being things with a bit more moderation. And then red being the things that you can enjoy, but you shouldn't have too much of. Um, and it teaches them about food and whatnot. But then there's a lot of people are basically on one side of the fence or the other. They love it or they hate it. And part of the hate is because there's like um, before and after pictures on there. So they're saying yeah, it's creating I, like I body that. image issues and things like that. Um but yeah, just bring it to the table. I, I Emma's probably got more info on it, but I've pretty much got the basically the same as you said. So it's for eight to seventeen year olds. It's called Kerbo um, that Weight Watchers acquired. Um, I actually quite like the traffic light system. I think that's a cool way of just um, just a nice visual for the kids to see is this healthy or not. But emphasis on healthy. Um, change.org have a petition to stop it and that was made by someone who um, suffered with eating disorders and they literally have gone as far as to say um, she can see kids dying from this app because she says they've created an app for children that promote healthy eating and healthy lifestyle um, but she feels like it was so similar to Weight Watchers and with an emphasis on weight loss, weight loss, weight loss, like you said, with the before and after pictures. So it's kind of like I'm mixed because I kind of like it, but I think it needs to change its emphasis a little bit more and not allow before and after pictures or pictures at all, really, for for the kids Um, and should just be more on healthy eating rather than tracking your weight and tracking your daily calories. But how how would I track them? Are they tracking them as like a game? Oh. oh no, I don't think so. I think you can similar to Weight Watchers, which I I've got the Weight Watchers app. You can input your everything you eat, and it works out how many points you've had. Mm-hmm. But like, uh, are they creating a like for, for for children like as a a fun format, like as a game? They can mm-hmm. unlock another level if they hit a certain amount of calories. Or I haven't seen what it looks like, and possibly I know that with the Weight Watchers one, there's the option with exercise as well, like, and you can put your exercise input in. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Like, if there's a child that needs it, and like the doctor said, you, they need you need to watch their whatever, then fine. Like having something like this that, as I say, like visually helps them is good. But then there would be kids on there, like teens. Is that she is she just upset with the before and after photos? Like because I, like I'm not sure if the before and after photos should be shared no. publicly. Yeah, if it's private, let's say I had a chubby child and I took it, like, and he wants to do this app. And he's taking a before picture to see what it looks like, and then play the game and try to lose the weight. Yeah, like I'm fine with that. But if it's being sold publicly, then I'm not fine with it. Okay. And but also because of the fact that you can in you can literally so she's saying for people that suffer from eating disorders, yeah, who are already obsessed with what they're eating, this is another way that they can put track everything. Yeah. Like, literally track it. But so I that's what she's upset with because that's what she went through. But and now there's this technology to What do you assist. mean? So when you have an eating disorder, <coughs> you're tracking it? Like a, well, yeah, then... so like if you have, look, I can't speak for everybody, but uh, like if you have, say, um, bulimia. bulimia or something, you're like, when have I, when did I eat last? What did I eat? How much have I eaten? Yeah, but. Well, oh, not okay. so much bulimia, but like um, anorexia and stuff. Yeah, but if you, like, maybe they can make the app, eat, like they put it in like your weight, your height and all that. And they'll give you like how your body type is. So if you come in there quite skinny, trying to lose weight, the app might be recommending you eat more food. 
Are, are you talking about, is she upset because it shows an image of a healthy kid? No, it's like, oh, I was this way, look at me now. And then because it's yeah, only right. with so, kids, because it's 18 to 17 So that's what I'm saying. So they're showing the before and after, and they're saying after, this is what a healthy kid looks like? Is not that why she's up? No, the app's not showing the before and after. People can upload their before and after pictures. But that's what I'm saying, sorry. I like I, I'm not explaining. So oh. they have a before and after photo that you can upload. Mm -hmm. Is she upset because they're saying the before is like uh, the way that the kid is, and they're saying that after the after photo is the healthy image of a kid? Is that what she's upset at? I don't think it's necessarily healthy. It's just that they've lost weight, and she's not, and she doesn't think you should promote losing weight, weight. as being an emphasis it should be on healthy. the app. Yeah, it should be healthy. Okay. Because then other people or other girls or other boys like might be like, oh, look at them. I want to do that. And even like become obsessed with it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like I, I used a, a smoking app when I was quitting. It's yeah. a support group. Like yeah. people who are going through similar things and you can message like I feel like a cigarette and everyone goes, no, don't do it. You're doing well. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know? But like I see it as, as a positive in that sense. Like if you're trying to lose weight and you get like a support group like a little group you have where... But we have to remember that children. Still, when you're young, having people encourage you to do something and saying, oh, you're doing well and all that, a good positive feedback, something that you'd, you'd enjoy. And that's why I think if it's for legitimate children that probably medically need to lose weight, but I don't. I reckon a lot more other, you know, a lot of other people that don't probably need to lose weight might join. Well, by the sounds of the, the, young the young lady that was offended by it for body image reasons, like the girl who was suffering from an eating disorder, she shouldn't have been on the app in the first place. No, she wasn't on the she, app. She's she, just seen that Weight Watchers are going to be releasing this app and she's trying to put in a petition to stop it. Uh, Alexander, from a health yes. health person, yes. um, what do you think about this app? Mm -hmm. um, I, I think it's really strange that people are taking one side or the other in terms of it's good or it's bad because to me... Like it's not binary. Um, no, it's not. Yeah. There's to me, there's elements that are good. There are elements that are bad. If just because the elements that are bad, I wouldn't remove the app entirely. Mm. Like, that makes yeah, that yeah. Make sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but like the body image thing, I think we're in a really weird time when it comes to body image, where your image doesn't dictate your health. Some people can look no. great and not be healthy. Some people can look not healthy but be healthy. Yeah. At the same time. There is definitely a correlation. It's not like a strict one, but there's definitely a correlation with body image and health. Mm -hmm. um, most people who look healthy are healthier than people who don't look healthy. Right. Mm -hmm. um, also, but with kids, uh, whatever, maybe like I, I, I could see you remove the body image thing. It'd be, it would, to me, it would probably be a better app. Yes. But the health part, like the green light, the, the traffic light system, to me, right now. In my, at least in, in the culture that I'm in, the, the country that I live in, no one educates anyone on nutrition at yeah. any point in their life. That part is good. Like, <clears throat> and I think we need to take responsibility. It'd be like, imagine you go and buy in cars, like everyone bought cars, but when you bought it, they're like, all right, so is it diesel or petrol? I don't know. Figure it out. Like, <laughs> it's so strange. Like, food is, you know, when they say you are what you eat? Yeah we quite literally are made up of the things that we eat. What you put in your body makes up the molecules that you are made up of. So the fact that we're never educated on what to put in your body, like to me, that blows my mind. And, and the people would take that away from kids because of body image over, like to me, the benefit of learning the good things far outweighs the negative of the body image. Yeah. Because we're assuming that kids are going to all act and think like the way we do. Like a body... An eating disorder isn't a um, like anorexia, bulimia, those things. They're they're not a thing that you develop because other people have made you develop them. Like it, it that's a mental mm -hmm. disorder. Mm -hmm. Like you, that's within you already. Okay. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, and I agree with you. So they need to get rid of that sort of yeah. uh, body image thing. And the app would be good with the traffic light system. With the um, well, eating morning. disorders, I don't think this lady's saying that people are going to, um, this app will create that. She's saying pe for people already with those disorders, it could be devastating to them, which I can understand, but I wouldn't get rid of the yeah, app either. There is one bad side to the app is it costs a lot of money. Oh, okay. 
Does it? Yeah. I didn't look at the cost. Yeah, I, I was going to say, like, for the evening. It should, it, it should be free, realistically. No, it's not. You have to pay, similar to adults have to pay. And I think it's about 60 bucks a month. Or Oh, that's yeah. a lot. Yeah. L- lucky your children are fit. Yeah. There's different <laughs> levels. So if you want, your, if you want like, a coach that you can get in touch with, it's more expensive. Um, oh, so they're being coached and stuff? That you can ha- you can pay to have a coach. Okay, this last article is about this Chinese man who adored his cat, Garlic, and <laughs> Garlic passed away and he was just devastated and he buried him in a park near his house and then he was still devastated and it just he remembered like, oh, I've seen like an article about cloning dogs and he went and dug up his cat, put him in his fridge or freezer and basically cloned him and has become the uh, China's first person to clone an actual cat. Yeah. Or this new cat is the first cloned cat ever. Yeah. It's called Clover. Who? The new cat. Really? Yeah. Garlic. <laughs> Clover. <laughs> oh. She still, it's still, it's still, it's still she doesn't get it. It still no. hasn't hit yet. No, she hasn't, hasn't hit yet. Hasn't so hit yet. Not Garlic, hasn't hit yet. Garlic Clover. Clove? Clove? Hmm. A clove of garlic? Yeah. Okay. yeah. But is it called clove? No. It's oh, a... <laughs> okay. <laughs> nope. It's okay. still it's hasn't landed. So, nope, it's coming. It's coming. No, I get like a clove of garlic. But anyway, um, <laughs> this cost him <laughs> thirty-five, about $35,000 and took seven months. Would you do it? Just, and just do you another think fact. It's right? Just another fact. That the new cloned uh, garlic. <laughs> garlic is ninety percent the same as the old as the old one? What's the other ten percent? They couldn't get it perfect. It's only ninety percent the same, mm. which is pretty good for it being <laughs> the first cloned. I mean, I guess so. It's just what's the other ten percent? <laughs> it might be the evil side of garlic that he did that he disliked, but that is pretty good. <laughs> no, it would no, still no, be a hundred percent garlic. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 garlic, right? Would he have the same memories? Oh, what? Because would it be a new cat? Just looks like garlic? <laughs> then what was the point of cloning? That's that's my biggest thing is realistically, was there actually any point in spending that much money to clone this cat that's going to be a different cat to the original cat? Well, like, Just uh, looks the same. Like if, if I passed away and Ernest wanted to clone me because like, you know, he can't live without me. Uh-huh. And, and he pays the 35 grand uh-huh. right, to get me, get me back again. Uh-huh. Won't be the same sage. It'll be a different sage. Uh huh. It'll be 90% me, <laughs> but it'll be a different me that has no memory, memories of you. Hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, see? I'm still trying to get over me wanting to clone you. Mate. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't know. So you wouldn't clone me, is what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> Would you want to clone someone? No. Well, that's what we're asking. No, but would you? No. No, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, once I've real answer. <laughs> Are you saying, do I want to clone you? Not me, just someone. I don't know. Huh. Uh, in fact, okay, let me ask you, you this yourself? question. How can you clone yourself if you're dead? S- no, if you, you were to clone, clone someone, yourself. would you, like, say you had to clone them, would you rather they came back the same person or came back as a different person? Just look the same. The same. Okay, okay. If you wanted to clone but them. But to my specifications. Ooh. <laughs> so not the same. <laughs> so Ernest. Yeah. You're going to be a little bit taller. Yeah. A little bit darker. <laughs> a little bit handsomer. <laughs> do you, do you wish you were a lot handsome. taller? <laughs> do you wish you were a baller? I was just going to sing that. <laughs> do you wish you had a girl? He, you he, call you her? call her. <laughs> Here's a very morbid question. Right? Oh, oh, no. no. So if, you're, if, you're, if you lost your child... Oh, gosh. Do we have to? And so I said it's going to be morbid. And it's like the child is only very, very young. So it's only two years old. You lost your child. But if you cloned it, you don't really actually know the personality that the kid would have been when he got older. Mm. Would you clone? Would you have cloned the kid? No. Oh, I don't think I could. No. I think you would always look at it with the eyes, the filter of a clone. Yeah. Okay. End of the day. It's not your child. It's a copy of it. 
Mm. And yeah. Mm. I'm sure there's so, some and, people that would. And, and every time you look at it, you will know that. Mm. And I think that I'd I'll, I'll personally find that harder. Because for the next 30 years, I'm looking at a copy of what I lost. Yeah. See, what I think they should have done with this guy is they should have wow. taken his 35 grand. that like an adult. <laughs> what was that, Alexander? With this guy, they should have taken his 35 grand, it's put it towards guy. like a, a, a worthy cause, and then just given him a cat that looked similar. <laughs> <laughs> Meet Garlic. <laughs> what, what? I don't know. <laughs> but, um... I don't know. I wouldn't spend $35,000 on it. And also, he's only 22 years old and he's like completely obsessed with this cat. So but, is he in um, debt or is that like cash that he had laying I don't around? Know. Apparently, the um, pet industry in China is $28.2 billion this year. Yeah, I heard the pet industry is pretty big there. They Up nearly pets. one fifth from last year. Oh. 55 million dogs and 44 million cats. Like. Like if they came back with the same personality and the memories, like a pet, yeah. But yeah, but that would even that would freak me out even more because then you've effectively beaten death. Yeah, it's weird. Because if they if they literally had the same memories and the same personality, you, you've you've beaten death at that point. Yeah, pretty pretty much like Astro that Boy. Do you, you remember Astro die. Boy? Yeah. So Astro the Boy, cartoon. the cartoon, he made yeah. that's how he lost his kid. And yeah. then he made Astro Boy. Copy. Yeah. What? Yeah. I don't remember that. The scientist. You know what? I never knew the origin story of Astro Boy. Yeah. Oh. That was it. There's a movie as well. And then like, so they could put a chip in hmm. to like reboot from the last known, or like the memories up to that point. Like if it was me, oh. personally, like and I had money, I would, I'd reboot myself. No, but you can clone yourself when you're what? still alive. So no, would no, you I, clone I, yourself before you die. No, no, no. There's only there's enough, all enough <laughs> in the world for one of me. I 100 percent agree. I will raise 100 percent agree. I, I, I will grow old and download my consciousness into something. Then when I pass away, well, you're dropping some words, bud. Right? You're dropping. <laughs> they, they, they can create a new version of me mm. and put my it's, consciousness in there. Yeah. So, do you think death is important? I do, but I wish I, I would like to cheat it. You're I don't know if I would like. Uh, what? Why? What's why? What? What do you want out of defeating? I don't want to miss my pe- my loved ones. That's why I want to cheat it. No, no, no. You when, will, you, you, when you, you die, you you're not going to miss anyone. I don't want them to miss me. You will miss your loved ones because eventually <laughs> they will die. That's narcissistic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but the fact of cheating death is the fact no, that you I cheated death. Because I want to see them grow old. You want to see you. I'm look. There's uh, uh you have a life a life here, right? And there's a a period. Right. Once you get to that, to the age, and you're experiencing your body deteriorating, and you like that's it for me. I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm ready to go. Let's go. I'm with Dev. Like, also, I don't think we're. I don't think you know. So this actually ties on what we're talking earlier. You know, the generations. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't think we're built to live in a world beyond our f- physical limit. Like, realistically, like think how hard. Like, for example, think old old people now. Think how hard it is for them to learn technology of today. Mm. Like imagine if you lived for an extra 70 years on top of that. Like you wouldn't be able to function in the world at that point. Mm. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the B-Side Word. Make sure if you enjoyed it to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe and drop us your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit the bell, hit the bell. Hit the bell, hit the bell. bell.